thank you very much for coming up here and supporting this event. Um, it's great to see a lot of very familiar faces here. I see people dating as far back as uh, the Roadster days. I see people who are, um, you know, recent owners as of weeks ago, and I see people, um, you know, maybe even joining the signature list like Larry. Uh, so welcome, guys. Thank you for coming up. We've got a great uh, event here today. We're really proud and, and happy to unveil our first supercharger in South Florida. Um, you guys hopefully make good use of this. I think this is the first of many to come, and, and obviously the future is, is going to the east, it's going west, it's going north. Um, we want to get you guys connected and, and driving the places where, where you're ultimately going to be using your Model S the most. Um, so thank you very much for supporting us. Um, South Florida is a huge market for us for Tesla. Um, we have probably the most aftermarket accessories down here of any, <laughs> of any group in the US. We've got uh, center consoles, we've got uh, custom paint jobs, we've got uh, custom seat inserts here. So you guys are a great community for us. I think you're probably the second most active uh, TMC community outside of California. So very important to the market, very important to Tesla. Uh, thank you very much for coming out. Uh, it's good to see you and uh, we're going to kick off this event, get the ribbon down and uh, get you guys on your way. Good morning everyone. Um, my name is Kevin Kaskert. I'm the director of supercharger deployment. So these are kind of my babies, and I'm very excited to share them with you. And uh, we're working very diligently across the entire country and Norway, actually, right now to get these up and running as quickly as possible. Um, I'd like to first just acknowledge and thank everyone uh, that was involved in this project, especially the city of Port St. Lucie with Mayor Fiala and her team. It's been just fantastic working with them, as well as Benderson Properties, who, uh, who um, worked with us on leasing us the space to, to put these uh, the, the supercharger station. Um, along with the utility with Florida Power and Light, uh, FPNL was great, a great partner to work with. And then our construction team with Carrick Construction and Black and & Veatch. Uh, without those five partners, we really wouldn't have been able to do this uh, in the speed that we were able to do it. So I really appreciate and want to thank everybody for that. Um, I'll, I'm going to keep my regards brief, but if people have questions with regards to additional locations or status of anything going around the country, feel free to come and talk to me afterwards. I'd be happy to educate you on what we're doing. Um, we've got... We've got uh, roughly a dozen sites under construction throughout the U.S. right now, and are very busy working to expand that with all of our to all of our existing customer spaces first, and then uh, working on connecting the coasts and getting across the country uh, by the end of the year. Um, uh, after me, Mayor Fiala is going to say a few words, and then after Mayor Fiala, uh, we have a, a good friend of Tesla and a former state legislature. Uh, his name is Adam Hasner, who's going to say a few words. Adam is a true friend of Tesla. He's been a champion for the industry for a very long time uh, and was actually, during his first year in Tallahassee, Adam sponsored uh, Florida's law to allow, allow hybrids and EVs to use the HOV lanes, which a lot of you will, uh, will I'm sure, take advantage of it at, at your times. Um, so with that, I'd like to introduce Mayor Fiala and, uh, and have her say a few words with regards to, uh, with regards to our partnership. Good morning, and thank you for coming here today. This is a very exciting day for the city of Port St. Lucie because it's so symbolic of a lot of good things that are happening in our community. If you're not from Port St. Lucie, I want to welcome you to our lovely city and hopefully take a tour at the end of um, the ceremony. The li this little corner here in Port St. Lucie and the ribbon cutting uh, occasion that's happening today for many new people, businesses, and industry are discovering Port St. Lucie and they're investing their money and reputation in our city. This new supercharging station may appear small, but it truly represents a very big concept for our nation and the world. It represents a new way of thinking about future generations of caring about our environment, conserving natural resources, and reducing dependency on foreign oil. This supercharging station is one of many that will be built throughout USA and making it possible to drive from city to city, coast to coast, without burning one drop of gasoline or leaving behind any harmful emissions. We are proud and honored to be associated with growing electric automobile industry, and especially with a leading company that is forcing the world to pay attention to its innovative ideas. This world is excited about Tesla Motors, and their stock has risen more than 19% since they announced their plans to open here in Port St. Lucie two months ago. Thank you, Tessa, for choosing Port St. Lucie as your newest location and recognizing the unlimited potentials here. We know you have a, your wise business decisions, and we are 
we're very confident that you will succeed here in Port St. Lucie. On behalf of the city, the people, and businesses, um, we hope that you love it here and expand your business here in Port St. Lucie, and we wish you all the best. How this started um, for me, for the city of Port St. Lucie, uh, a couple of months back, I saw a motor trend that they were number one automobile. And I said, why aren't they here in Port St. Lucie? Why aren't, I started discovering and started investigating and started doing my homework. I says, and then I was getting with people in Miami and other cities that said, yes, we have super, you know, uh, charging station. So that's how the communication started opening with the California office. And sure, lo and behold, they're here in Port St. Lucie and we're proud to have them here. And um, I hope you succeed. With that said, I want to present to you the plaque of congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you, Kevin. And it's great to see so many people out here. I remember when I first became an enthusiast for electric vehicles that you could have had a meeting of all the car owners in a phone booth. So uh, it's exciting to see so many people out here today and uh, joining with you all as I think Kevin would agree that uh, we are striking a blow against range anxiety. Uh, I know all of us have heard about it. Uh, some of us here today may have haven't even experienced it ourselves. Um, so this is a great step forward to addressing uh, the perception of the problem as, as well as the reality uh, of the range anxiety problem. Uh, I just want to applaud the mayor uh, for her vision and, and her leadership and commitment to making this happen here in Port St. Lucie, uh, and really for her embrace and her team's embrace uh, of innovation, because innovation really is in the culture and the DNA of Port St. Lucie, and I think that today's event is really just a sign of, of more big things to come for the community. Now, for all of the Tesla owners and Tesla customers uh, that are here today, uh, we welcome you, and, and each and every one of you in your own right is a thought leader and an innovator. Uh, and I think that when you purchased this car, uh, you didn't just buy a car, you invested in the future. And I know each and every one of you share that same enthusiasm and excitement, and your evangelism is, is going to help uh, continue to uh, allow this company to grow and allow this movement uh, to grow. Uh, there are over 500 Teslas on the road already in Florida today, and that is just the very beginning, and that number continues to grow. And the same goes for the supercharging stations that Kevin is putting throughout Florida and throughout the country. This is just the beginning because as technology improves and advances, you'll get more powerful charges in faster times and keeping you uh, on the move. And so as a regional network is built throughout the state, as a national network is built throughout the country, that is gonna help keep people on the move. And so this is a very exciting time for the community. Uh, we are proud to welcome Tesla and make this the first supercharging station uh, in the state of Florida. And uh, wanna just thank everybody for being a part uh, of the future and the innovation that's taking place right here in our own community. So thank you all for being here. Yeah, with that, we'll, we'll start the ribbon cutting with our hedge trimmers. Three, cut. 